Shalom Makyum, your brother Kanan. Back at truth, this truth thought about giving all praises, honor, and glory to your Awa, Ba'ashim, Awa Shai, Ba'ashim, Ba'kabadash, double honors and respect, both to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who well and teach well and lead the Israel by great chapter to this day. Peace and salutation to the night. Teaching and preaching is truth, and it is righteousness, purity, and sincerity, and wait long. Ba'ashim, Shai. Yep. You know, Jake is always at work. He don't know when to stop working. <laughs> hey man. Uh the only way out, brothers and sisters, is Yahweh Shinel Shai. A lot of these Jakes do not have the Lord with them. So uh, th this is a detriment to the spirit if you don't have your how about some shot with you. And it's, especially in the time that we're in, you know, it, it's just like the days of Egypt. Alright? Lord willing we have the uh blood on our blood on our doorposts. You know, that's why we say Lord willing. Because who knows what your how about some shot can do. Alright? Because we're gonna have his angels out here. You know, monitoring the activity, all right, on the earth, all right, whether it be right or whether it be left, okay? But we know that the right angels of Yahweh Shemel Shai is dealing with the elect, all right? You know, the chosen, all right? Lord willing, we have that number to call out one. But the Lord is dealing with his servants, okay? You know? And that's what we got to meditate day and night. On Yahweh Shemel Shai and His mercy, okay. So and we keep, but just by keeping, you know, the the law, statute, commandments are the best in your ability. But by keeping the faith, man, is what's mo most important. The, the faith of Yahweh Shai, all right, because He had faith when He went upon that cross. So we have to hold that, maintain that same integrity and faith. The integrity of Job and the faith of Yahweh Shai. You know, two main characteristics that uh, we must have in this truth. Uh, let me just read a quick uh, couple of scriptures. We're going to close it, alright? Let's read the um, book of John, chapter 15, verse. Let's start at verse um, 8. Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples, and we bear fruit through the spirit and poverty. How about you? I shall by preaching this word, right? As the Father hath loved me, so I have I, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. And what's loving the Lord? Keeping his commandments, keeping what he said, keeping the sayings of this book. Because Yahweh Shai is the word. Okay, if ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. So Yahweh Shai kept his father's commandments. You know, he, he uh endured all the way up into the cross. You know. Verse eleven, these things have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. That Yahweh Shai is still with us in the spirit. He's not with us in the physical, but he, he's about to be, you know, and that's why we—that's what we're looking forward to. This is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. We love the brotherhood, as Yahweh loves us. We must love each, you know, the, uh, each other. Okay. Um. Three Sirach chapter four. Book of Sirach chapter four. Verse twenty-eight. Um strive for the truth until death, and the Lord Yahweh Shai shall fight for thee. So 
As we strive for the truth, no matter what goes down until death, the Lord will fight for us. Okay? He will, he will fight for us for us to overcome the temptation of this society, man. Okay? So we just got to keep enduring, keep pushing through. But, you know, we know that spiritual power is coming from. We're going to truly need it in, that, in the time that we're entering. You know, as just, you know, Daniel chapter 12, verse 1, a time like no other, uh, Michael, the archangels, had, had to stand up for us stand up for us so we looking forward to the salvation of our Lord Yahweh Shai and I'm, I'm going to close it out we close it out uh, and I'll just, oh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 Verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. See? And that's the beginning of the fear of the Lord by keeping his commandments that he say. And who's who's his ultimate commandment? Yahweh Shai, man. You know, follow what Yahweh Shai said. Alright, through these scriptures. Okay, this truth, this knowledge. Okay. Um well, this is the whole duty of man. So the whole duty of man is to keep the commandments of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. All right, begin with the Israelite man. For Yahweh Hashem Shai shall bring every work into judgment and every with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So if we doing the good, the Lord is going to uh, reward us with salvation. All right, in the new bodies. If we do, if we doing evil, the Lord is going to destroy us. Plain and simple. So, Lord willing, this lesson was quick and edifying. I want to end up by giving all praise and honor and glory to you. Hawa Bashi Mel Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honest respect go to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well and teach while leading Israel by grace and to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect. Teaching and preaching is truth and is righteousness, purity and sincerity. And waiting on you, Hawa Shai, who knew all and called Jesus Christ for salvation. Shalom and Makim, stay strong in the spirit, most out of here with the salvation on Yahweh Shai. Shalom and stay strong and keep the faith with your most own. And power, shalom on my game. Shalom on.